What did they write on Jesus' cross? Why do the four Gospels not agree? Does this not prove that there are mistakes in the Bible? When the Romans crucified someone, they would often fasten to the cross a board called a titulus on which they had written their victim's crime. As an insult to Jewish leaders, Pontius Pilate, the Roman procurator, ordered an officer to write a titulus that honored Jesus. According to the Gospel of Matthew, the charge read, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. According to the Gospel of Luke, the charge read, This is the King of the Jews. According to the Gospel of John, the charge read, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. And according to the Gospel of Mark, the charge read, The King of the Jews. Since the four Gospels do not agree word for word, are they mistaken? Or is there a satisfying explanation for their differences? It is not necessary to do as did some ancient copyists who sought to correct the Bible. By the 5th century, some scribes altered the word order in some copies of Luke's Gospel, This is the King of the Jews. By the 6th century, some had made it to read, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. By the 5th century, some scribes altered some copies of Mark's Gospel to read, This is the King of the Jews. Neither Matthew's nor John's quotation was ever altered. According to John's Gospel, many of the Jews read this inscription, for the place where Jesus was crucified was near the city, and it was written in Aramaic, in Latin, and in Greek. Some translations say Hebrew in place of Aramaic. Could the differences between the four Gospels be due to each one translating to Greek from a different language? A Greek translation from Aramaic or from Hebrew could read, This one, he, is Jesus, the King of the Jews. A Greek translation from Latin could read, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. Thus, we support the following hypothesis. Matthew wrote his gospel mainly for Jews, so he chose to translate to Greek from the Aramaic or Hebrew charge from the titulus, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Luke wrote his gospel for educated Greek readers, so he recorded the Greek charge from the titulus, The King of the Jews, this is. John, who noted the use of three languages, chose to translate into Greek from the Latin charge from the titulus, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. Finally, Mark, who often shortened stories and sentences, chose to translate to Greek the final part of the Latin charge from the titulus, King of the Jews. The charges written on the titulus in three languages, with no spaces between words, would have about the same length. Aramaic, Greek, and Latin differ from English in their grammar, word order, and vocabulary. Aramaic and Hebrew read from right to left, and in place of a verb to be, provide a personal pronoun such as he. They join the definite article to its noun. To say the king of the Jews, they remove the word the from king, leaving king the Jews. The Hebrew article the joins to the start of its noun whilst the Aramaic article, the, joins to the end of its noun. Greek has a flexible word order because each noun and pronoun has a different ending to show if it is a subject or object of a verb 
or if it implies the word of, called the genitive. In Greek, they also do not need a verb, to be, and they often put their focus on the first part of a sentence. Thus they can say, the king of the Jews this, and still mean, this is the king of the Jews. Latin requires no verb to be, has no definite article the, and, like Greek, forms the genitive of with a different word ending. The letter V in Latin becomes a U when transcribed into English. Conclusion Each of the four Gospel writers recorded accurately, though selectively, a charge from the Roman Titulus on Jesus' cross from one of three languages, Aramaic or Hebrew, Greek or Latin.